Mothra's a big deal in the Titan world ever since her first rumble with Godzilla way back in the day. Think Mothra vs. Godzilla. She's been a key player in the MonsterVerse. She's always had Godzilla's back. Remember that crazy three-headed monster Ghidorah in Godzilla? King of the Monsters, Mothra fought right alongside Godzilla, even sacrificing herself to give him a power boost. That's some serious loyalty. No wonder Godzilla respects her more than any other titan. Fast forward to Godzilla x -Kong, the new empire. And guess who swoops in to save the day? Mothra. She shows up just in time to stop Godzilla from blasting Kong and convinces him to team up against the real bad guys, the creepy Scar King and his icy buddy Shimo. Apparently, there's an ancient prophecy saying Godzilla wouldn't help Kong without Mothra around. Talk about a peacemaker. Mothra's basically Godzilla's right hand, or giant Mothwing, in the Monsterverse. With Godzilla x Kong, the new empire focusing so much on Kong's journey, Mothra brings us back to Godzilla's side of the story. She's a titan through and through, a perfect match for Godzilla. Without her, Kong wouldn't have convinced Godzilla to join forces, and the whole world might be stuck in an eternal ice age. Speaking of the final battle, things get wild. At first, Kong gets outsmarted by the Scar King's magic shenanigans. Even teaming up with Godzilla isn't enough. But fear not, monster fans. That's where Mothra comes in, bringing the smackdown with her unique powers. The director, Adam Wingard wanted this fight to feel like a classic kaiju brawl, just like the ones in the old Japanese movies. Mothra's addition definitely gives it that epic destroy all monsters vibe. With Mothra's help, Kong finally dethrones the Scar King and claims his rightful place as king, of something at least. Throughout the MonsterVerse movies, Kong's been on a path to becoming the true King Kong. In Godzilla vs. Kong, he found a home, but no subjects. Now, he's found his people and has to earn their respect. It's all been leading to this moment for Kong. Godzilla and Kong weren't just facing one bad guy in Godzilla x Kong, the new empire. There was also Shimo, a powerful titan under the control of the villainous Scar King. Think mind control, but with a creepy blue crystal. Despite being a total force of nature, literally causing an ice age with her freezing breath, Shimo was kind of a tragic figure. No free will, just following orders. She put up a good fight against Godzilla and Kong, showing off her impressive strength and ice powers. But in the end, things took a surprising turn. When Kong helped break Shimo free from Scar King's control, it hinted at a possible future team-up. Could Shimo become an unlikely ally in the MonsterVerse? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. With her frosty abilities on her side, Kong could have a powerful new friend by his side. Mothra a long-time Godzilla ally makes a shocking return. Mothra isn't new to the kaiju scene. She first appeared way back in 1964 as Mothra vs. Godzilla, and even crossed paths with our atomic lizard again in the Monster vs. Godzilla. King of the Monsters, 2019. There were even hints of her existence in Kong. Skull Island, 2017. In King of the Monsters, Mothra proved to be a loyal friend to Godzilla, even facing off against the mighty King Ghidorah by his side. But then, she seemingly sacrificed herself. Fast forward to Godzilla x Kong, the new empire, and guess who swoops in to help Godzilla and Kong take down the nasty Scar King, Mothra herself. It wasn't just a cool monster fight. It had real meaning. Seeing Mothra back in action was a thrill for fans, and her presence added a lot of weight to the story. After all, Mothra's always been seen as one of the most noble monsters out there making her return all the more impactful, witnessing a dream come true. Godzilla, Kong, and Mothra unite. In Godzilla x Kong, the new empire, there's this incredible scene with Godzilla, Kong, and Mothra all facing off right in front of the Sphinx. Sometimes, even during editing, I'd just stare at the screen in awe, seeing those three titans together in one frame. It's unreal, especially for fans of the classic Showa-era Godzilla films. These are the kind of shots you only dream of. The MonsterVerse is truly taking things to crazy and awesome places. Speaking of crazy, the movie's main villain, the Scar King, is a real devilish character. You could almost call this movie Kong Goes to Hell. With Kong venturing down into this dark underworld and encountering these ape slaves under the Scar King's rule, Mothra serves as a complete opposite, approached her as a very angelic being a pure force within the MonsterVerse. She's basically the ultimate monster diplomat. Everyone respects Mothra. She's the one titan all the others seem to let do her thing. And I think Godzilla might be the only one who truly respects her opinion. If Mothra says they need help, Godzilla listens. It's more exciting to let fans discover that for themselves, especially since there's a good chance we'll see more of her in the future.